so basically uh, there is uh, seems to be some confusion in this entire thing i'll just take few minutes to clarify it so you don't need to make you know for the first part so let me start the clarification the uh, state government after realizing that uh, the cuet exam was uh, made mandatory by the government of india for central university entrance test exam that is uh, we realized that many colleges which were affiliated to nehu uh, the students had to give exams of the cuet even though they were not applying for any course in nehu they were applying for admissions in their respective colleges but because of the fact that the affiliation of these colleges were to nehu by default they had to take the cuet exams so for example a student who's applying to nongtalang college he may never actually come to nehu and study here but he or she would have to give the cuet exam even though he or she was applying for uh, uh, for nongtalang admission college in nongtalang admission in nongtalang college now why did that happen that happened because we don't have a state university and we didn't have a state university for the past 50 years because nehu was there and hence the need for a state university never arose but keeping the situation in mind we had to go ahead with the state university so that we could allow the people and the and the colleges to affiliate to the state college state university i'm sorry now when we went ahead with this and the desire to have a state university there was something called the captain williamson sangma technical university the captain williamson sangma technical university the word technical had to be removed and which was already passed by the way uh, in the previous government so the technical word technical university had to be removed and we had to simply increase the number of subjects uh, in this entire entire process and uh, then we were able to then uh, expand and make the captain williamson sangma technical university into a full fledged university so that any college could then affiliate to this uh, uh, so there was the shortest and the quickest way to make things happen and that is what happened and that's how we went ahead and we made the captain williamson sangma uh, technical university into a full fledged university so that's number 1 clarification number 2 very important to understand there is no mandatory law or rule that says that the colleges have to affiliate to captain williamson sangma university it is purely the choice of the college concerned it is their choice if they want to affiliate to nehu they can affiliate to nehu if they want to affiliate to captain williamson sangma university they can affiliate to captain williamson sangma university there is no mandatory provision in it but the option is being given because if those colleges continue to affiliate to nehu then the students who are applying in that college will have to continue to give the cuet exam in the future so that's the second point that it is not mandatory for any college to apply or affiliate to nehu up to 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 captain williamson sangma university is a choice of the of the particular college number 3 is that the entire process of affiliation will be done in a very smooth manner so we intend to provide a green channel where colleges which are already affiliated to nehu we will fast track their affiliation into captain williamson sangma university so therefore the process of affiliation will be very very smooth and nobody has to go to any corner or this or that or any office or any particular other headquarters nothing like that so we will create provisions for everybody to that they can apply number 4 and most important that we will be having different campus sites in different parts of the state so definitely for taking care of all the issues of all the colleges that are in uh, the eastern part of our state uh, especially in shillong and other joining areas there will be a full fledged office that is going to take care of all the issues concerned so that nobody has to travel anywhere uh, but as i said this university uh, in the bill that was passed before this government came in this was uh, the captain williamson sangma technical university was headquartered in garhwals and that was done before our time uh in the previous government and we simply went ahead and made this a full fledged university because it was the fastest way to do it keeping in mind the urgency of the cuet exam uh so that people don't have to give that so therefore now we will be having campuses and we'll be having different uh, branch uh, branches everywhere so that 
our colleges and our students do not have to travel anywhere far away uh, to uh, apply or to have any kind of uh, paperwork to be done or get the necessary services from the university concerned. So therefore we will make it very smooth and we will have enough infrastructure in different parts of the state and many of the colleges, in fact, we're going to start with our affiliation of our own colleges also. We have the Rongjing College, we have the, you know, our different colleges uh, uh, of the government, uh, like the, you know, Kyang Nongba College and other colleges. We'll start the affiliation to uh, to the Captain Williamson Sangma there. And again, I reiterate, to ensure that there is no uh, confusion and no problem and no uh, kind of uh, uh, problem for these colleges, we will ensure that the uh, offices and the campuses are there in different parts of the state to facilitate their affiliation and future support to the state, up to the colleges.